What up y'all, how's it going? Ben Dean here. Today I'm going to be eating some Mexican food that I just got delivered from a place called Dos Tacos. I've had this before, but I only had their tacos that time, so I'm switching it up. Got some different stuff. I got a burrito. This is a beef burrito, but it's looking really crazy. I don't... I'll show you a close up here in a second. It's looking real weird, but hopefully it's good. Um, I also got some quesadillas, or as I like to call it sometimes, quesadillas. I threw in some nachos as well, and I also got an enchilada here, so I'm going to try to like kind of unbox this stuff and show you a closer look. So here's the burrito they gave me. As you can see, it's a decent size, but they don't know how to fold it or wrap it, I guess. Um, looks like there's all kinds of stuff in there, so that's looking pretty interesting. Uh, here's the quesadillas, and they're just cheese. They also gave me some nachos. No salsa, though. They did give me the sauce, I think, for... It came with the burrito, but I'm not sure what exactly that's for. And lastly, here's the enchilada. This is looking pretty good. And they also gave me this kind of like salad type of thing. And no rice or beans either. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, maybe not, but a lot of the Mexican style restaurants in Seoul I'd just be slacking on the, the refried beans and the rice, like the Mexican rice. So that's kind of a disappointment. But, you know, I'm not going to fret about it too much today because I'm just uh, going to eat this as, as deliciously as I can. It's looking pretty good. This burrito, I'm thinking it's going to be good. It's just looking weird. Like, have you ever seen a burrito that looks like this before? And also, when I started this video, I did say I'm going to be eating Mexican food. Hopefully no one out there took it too literally. It's like Korean style Mexican food. It's the kind of Mexican food you can get in Korea, so I know it's not authentic. Anyway, um, let me see. I don't think I need this wrap. I'm just going to take this bad boy out and then start with this burrito. So like I said, good size here. Just, I need to learn how to fold, man. All right, let me try this out. All right, all right. Pretty good stuff, I gotta say. It looks like they do put mushrooms in there, which I don't think I've seen that in a burrito before. I do love mushrooms, but to me, it definitely gives it kind of um, a little bit of a fusion flavor. Just because I've never seen it before. <clears throat> chips. Mmm. Fresh chips. Yeah, chips. Like nacho chips, man, they're hit or miss as well. Like, if you go to a Mexican restaurant here, I've seen them, sometimes they charge like five bucks just to get some chips, which are usually like unlimited for free in America, so. Oh yeah, by the way, this is like 30 bucks as well. So, not the cheapest meal I've ever had. <clears throat> Let me try out this little quesadilla. Mmm. Oh yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with this. You just can't really go wrong with it at all, so. Nice one on that one, those tacos. And let's try this uh, enchilada too. This is looking real interesting. So I think this is, they call this the, the kogi, like the, the meat. Uh, Fajita, bur Chipotle, burrito, some kind of weird name like that. And it's definitely smelling like some some Chipotle coming out of here. So it's like a big old, oh no. That's what you get for talking instead of eating. Mmm, that's good. So, I don't know if I can show you. After I take this next bite, I'll try to show you a close-up of the inside. Mm. I 
and this too um it doesn't taste like uh like the classic enchilada that we all know and love those of us who are from america at least <clears throat> Not sure what it tastes like exactly. It tastes like it's like an enchilada, but a lot weaker with the the classic enchilada sauce. Um, but it is a very strong like chipotle flavor, I guess. I don't know if you can see the inside of it, but there's rice and like I think there's uh, there's pork in there as well, and some beans. So we got something good going on here. And this one, like I said before, no meat or anything. This one is like I said, beef. And they don't have a ton of options for the different like fillings you can get, but I think I chose well. <clears throat> I should really just go there and tell them how to <clears throat> to fold a burrito, though. I mean, I respect the fact that they're trying to fill as much filling in there as, as they can. But as you can, we got a hole down here, and I'm not trying to complain too much either. I move this can. Just make the ease of eating a little bit better, or yeah, better I would say, and then you might have something better going on for you. Overall, good meal though. Wow, might have to try out this uh, sauce, some hot sauce. Yeah, the, like I said, they included this with the burrito, so I'm not sure if you're supposed to dip this giant burrito in this tiny little thing or what. Let me. I might have to kneel down for this one because this is going to get crazy. Oh. Well, this one's going to be a messy one. So if you don't like messy eaters, then you might not want to watch this one. <laughs> I might have to end up eating this with a fork, man. That's a sacrilege from where I'm from, but <clears throat> you got to do what you got to do. So, for, on a scale of like 1 to 10 when it comes to like straight up Mexican food, you know, you can obviously tell that there's some kind of fusion stuff going on. It doesn't taste Asian or Korean in any way, just not the kind of Mexican food that you get served up from a Mexican restaurant out in the States. Maybe like some homemade, like kind of experimental Mexican or, you know, trendy Mexican place if you go to like... LA or something. And I should might as well try this salad as well. Like I said, not too excited for it. I'm trying to eat as unhealthy as possible. Just kidding. Just I never I'm not used to eating salads when I eat uh, like Mexican style food, you know. Is that just me? If this was rice and beans, I mean I'd be all over this. Huh? So alright, salad they got pretty much everything in there. olives, jalapenos, uh, looks like some little bit of guac maybe, some salsa, anyway good stuff, good stuff, um, <clears throat> as you can see I'm at my house for once, my place. Some of you guys who are new to the channel might not know what's going on here, you know? This is the first time I've filmed at my house for a long time. Now that the weather is like bearable, I can come here without too much of a problem, without dying. And, you know, it's nice to, to come home every once in a while. I do miss Veggie, though. I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, hey, where's Veggie at? I should print out a picture and put him back there just for kicks. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do that. If I ever buy a printer, which I probably won't, so I probably won't do that. You ever seen a mushroom in a burrito before? 
anyway, so I didn't really have much going on in my life lately. Nothing too exciting. So, I thought I would do something kind of uh, interesting and different. I'm not sure how interesting it is, but it is a little bit different. Um, and some of you guys think it might be a little bit negative, but hopefully I won't make it too negative. Um, what I wanted to do today was just like look at and respond and react to some, some like hate hate comments. So I, mean, I thought that was a fun, like a cool idea. It's just haters, you know? It doesn't have to be like shirt up hate, like discrimination, that kind of stuff. Just like bad negative comments. And I was looking through um, the past comments I've gotten over the past few days. I gotta say, there weren't many, if any, people who were hating on me. Um, it's very surprising actually. I think one of the reasons for that is because I don't have any like really huge viral videos or anything. I don't have any videos over a million views or anything. I think those are type of the, those are the type of videos that will just draw in like randoms that uh, it'll just that video will appear as like recommended really randomly on their homepage or whatever, and they'll click it and be like this is not what I want to watch, you know. And then just start hating. But I did find some like maybe just like critical comments or um, negative comments or some that some people might consider hate. For me, it's got to be like you got to be really hating hard for me to consider it hate because I've been on the internet long enough to know that people are just trolls, you know. Uh, so let's see. Let's start off with. Uh, one from eight hours ago. It truly blows my mind what people think are healthy. This was on yeah my one of my very first videos. My Starbucks uh, like sandwich and, and salad video, and um, I think I must have called it healthy healthy food in that video. And for me, it is like relatively healthy. You know, I know it's not really um, the most healthy food in the world. I'm not stupid. But I mean, I ate an apple, I ate celery, I ate a salad, man. You can't be like too critical on me, you know? Celery is like, they say celery is one of the those foods that you burn more calories eating it than you actually gain from it itself. I don't really, I don't know if that's true, but it's like as healthy as you can get, man. Come on. All right, someone said, like your video, but it was kind of irritating how you were putting the spoon down on the table at the beginning on my my recent um, my recent ice cream video. And what do you want me to do? Just like hold the spoon the whole entire time? Or like, because those cups, I'll tell you, those ice cream cups are kind of small, so you can't like really like jam it in there and, and wedge it in there, you know? So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> whatever. I mean, I don't even know what to say to that one. Let's see. <clears throat> I seriously don't like the way you eat. This is a this is a great um <laughs> This is a great comment. Really really um interesting and thoughtful. And completely unnecessary. Why? Are you... All right, that's fine. That's fine. Just don't watch the video. Just don't watch my videos, or just don't watch the ones where I eat food. You know. I f I swear, people are like, I'm I'm honestly I don't get worked up by these comments. I just find them really funny and kind of interesting. A little bit interesting at the same time. What? Like, when you try to get into someone's head, like, what compels them to say that and type that out and use their own, like, their strength, their energy, their precious energy to write out a comment like that. I mean, that's fine. Just don't watch them, I guess. <laughs> um, uh, maybe I shouldn't drop their names. Someone said, be careful, dude. Door code is easy to see. 23579. Um, 
His address is also very easy to find on Google search, but I'll leave it out. Not very smart if you're genuinely concerned about privacy. This is on my house tour video. And by the way, uh, if you guys haven't seen um, this place, my house or my apartment, you can check out that video. Maybe if I remember, I'll put a link somewhere up there. And this isn't hate. This isn't hating at all. Well, he said not very smart, but um, just more of like be, people looking out for me. You know, I've gotten this comment so many times, and I think people are forgetting that that's not the door to my my house. That's the door to the building that will let me into where I live. Most of the time, these doors on the front of the building will be wide open. You can just walk in, like. You know what I'm saying? I guess not, but uh, thank you for considering my, my safety. Uh, that's not my code. No one has guessed it right. I've had so many people say, oh, it's a one, three, uh, six, seven. Oh, it's a two, four, five, nine. No one's got it yet, so I'm still waiting. And when you get in, as long as you have that, you know, that counterfeit key that you can open my door with, I mean. And I said, I hope no one, in that beginning of that video, I just made some stupid joke about how I hope no one kills, tracks me down and kills me in my sleep. But that was just a, a dumb joke that wasn't funny. <clears throat> All right. See. On my Pizza Hut Pepperoni Pan Pizza ASMR, which wasn't ASMR, I know. Someone said, you must deep throat or something. <laughs> good try, man. Good try. Real good try. I don't know where... I don't know. I don't have anything to say to that, actually. On my last the pizza and wings mukbang, I said, "Stop touching your effing nose and face." Except they actually dropped the word, which is taking it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Dropping the f bomb, man. What about your mind? What'd they say again? Oh. Yeah, I think I have some nervous tics. Like I said, you know, if there's some part of my presentation, whether it be eating and talking, eating with my mouth open, touching my face, you don't have to watch my videos, you know, so. But I'll touch my, my nose and face whenever I want to. Don't tell me what to do. Actually, usually I hate touching my nose and face when I'm eating. Usually, but I guess it's just I'm so like have that nervous tick when I'm filming that I just do it out of like I just do it. You're such a loud eater. This is one of my ice cream mukbang. I thought that one was very quiet. I don't know. All right, I'm Indian and your girlfriend eating with a fork and mixing everything together is making me cringe so bad. You're supposed to eat everything separately and with fingers, no utensils. Like, damn, eat the right way, please. It's not Korean food. Um, see, these are the type of comments too. Like, if you said that in a different way, it would have been a lot nicer, you know. Um, where's your manners at, you know? I think people like hating on SJ in general, but um, I'd be a lot less. Let I would be a lot more likely to take what you say into consideration if you say it in a nicer way. If you know what I mean. Um. 
the only thing I, this is on my my original Taco Bell mukbang mukbang video, which I do want to redo because I feel like that video is just not very good. The only thing I don't like in your mukbangs is that you always take a bite and lay it back on the table, like just leave it in your hands. Damn, that would be a crazy video. Maybe I should try to do that one day. Just like I, I was eating, I had three different things in that video. I had a, a Crunchwrap Supreme, a taco, and some kind of other thing. Um. To leave them all in my hands and not never set them on the table. I think that would be a, a feat of, you know, I would I should be in a circus if I could do that. Maybe I'll try it one day. Uh, seem like a nice person, but damn, you need to get a job and a career. You're 25 and you just started to do YouTube. Cool hobby, but why can't you work? You seem healthy enough. Question mark. Question mark. The double question mark. They're real intrigued. They're real flabbergasted uh, <laughs> at what what I'm choosing to do. With my uh, my wife. Uh, I'm just doing what I want to do, man. <laughs> I think it's definitely not normal when you look at um, a society and what society says is like normal. What you should do at what age? What kind of job? <clears throat> you know what kind of school you should go to what kind of job you should get when you look at, at it like that yeah definitely not the most normal um, way to make to survive but I definitely like to think outside the box sometimes for like all the time most of the time so like man I think it's weirder to just work slave away at a job you hate all your life even if you can make more money until you have enough money to retire and then you're too old to actually like do what you want I think that's weird so difference of opinion I guess <clears throat> how many times can one person say as well in one video <laughs> quite a bit I bet I bet you're gonna say that a lot on oh, this one yeah it's not really hating but just kind of if they would have said like lol at the end of, it, of their sentence Maybe I'm being too crit maybe I'm hating on on these people unreasonably. Maybe I'm the hater. Nah. All right. I would love to watch these videos all the time if you didn't eat and chew like a Well, that was a huge fail. Uh, my camera shut off. It only records for a short uh, a certain number of minutes at a time. So it shut off and I guess I didn't see that and I guess I didn't hit the play button again the record button so I really have no idea where I left off um, no idea at all so anyway I am I finished my burrito though I, if I repeat anything that you've already seen I'm, I apologize finished my burrito uh, finished the salad surprisingly as well so I got a, a chip a quesadilla and a little bit of uh, enchilada left I was on a roll too. I'm not even sure if it caught, recorded me um, getting through all the comments or not. But right now, I really, you know, I don't have the resources to. I guess I could rewind through like 30 or fast forward through 30 minutes and check it and then resume to eating. But whatever. This is just going to be a subpar video. I apologize for that. Maybe I'll do another one of these in the future. But I was just rambling on. I'm like, man. Uh, just about being positive, you know? Like haters, man. You're trying to spread the negativity. What's up with that, man? Negative Nancy's. I was talking about all this kind of different stuff, but uh, maybe next time I'll get to it again after I review the footage and see what I did talk about and didn't, or what did get recorded and what didn't. Man, that's. A 
feo. But yeah, I'm getting pretty full. When I started this video, I wasn't even that hungry, to be honest. But, uh, this is a lot of food. It was real heavy. I did well. Ah, last bite. Man, that Coke is good. That was a great combo. All right, well, that's just about all for this video. I really apologize for that weirdness, like halfway through or whatever. Man, disappointed about that. But what can you do, you know? What can you do? Nothing. Just remember remember it for next time. Anyway, um, now nah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to give a special shout out to a couple peeps, though. Nicole and Migs. Thanks for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate that. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And, uh, um, what do you call this? Enchilada. What up, y'all? Let's kind of unbox everything up and then see what we got today. What up, y'all? How's it going? Give me some fry. Or some fry. There's some chips as well. This is camera, man.